Well, the release of body cam footage over two weeks after uh, the Hamas terrorist attack on October the 7th uh, is Israel creating a case and reminding the world of the barbarity that was unleashed by Hamas terrorists, uh, you know, resulting in the deaths of 1,400 civilians uh, and many hostages being taken as well. Uh, Israel, remember, has been watching, uh, you know, with a sense of dismay, the kind of narratives that have been built in other parts of the world, especially in the Arab world. Uh, you know, they acknowledge calls for, uh, you know, uh, calls for calm amidst a humanitarian crisis in Gaza, but they have resolutely stood by their right to defend themselves and avenge the deaths of all those, uh, you know, who were killed by the Hamas. Uh, therefore, the release of body cam footage, which we are told, uh, 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 and uh, uh, according to our sources within the system, are uh, uncensored, horrifying, unedited footage recorded from the GoPro body cams that the Hamas terrorists wore when they went about their massacre and killing spree is going to be perhaps the most, uh, you know, jarring, uh, most, uh, you know, most terrifying case that Israel can actually make, uh, uh, you know, for what it has been doing so far in terms of airstrikes and what it proposes to do as far as the decimation of Hamas is concerned. Remember, we've heard the worst of humanity over the last few days uh, and weeks. Uh, you know, butchered babies, families burnt alive, the elderly, uh, you know, uh, tortured, people tied up and burnt in their houses. I've been visiting kibbutzes where, uh, you know, the destruction has been plain to see. Therefore, I think the body cam footage is Israel saying, I think the world needs a reminder of why we need to do this. Hostilities on Israel's northern border with Lebanon by the Hezbollah, cruise missiles uh, launched by the Houthi uh, militants in Yemen, both big proxies of Iran mean that this has already become an international conflict. Uh, uh, the United States deployment uh, in the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean Sea means that this is already a West Asian crisis that involves other countries beyond just Israel and Palestine. And that's the reason why uh, Every next step holds the potential for a catastrophic miscalculation. What if Israel gets, uh, what if Iran uh, is forced to get involved directly? What if, uh, uh, you know, the conventional weapons belonging to the Hezbollah are used in a much larger way, uh, you know, much more than just the kind of pinprick text testing that's just happening uh, on the northern borders with Lebanon? All of these factors mean that Israel is fully prepared. We've been speaking to the IDF. We spent an entire day with them at the Kibbutz Berry in South uh, Israel yesterday. And I can tell you that the entire situation uh, is on tenterhooks at this point of time. And Israel is hoping that it doesn't need to open another front in the north. It doesn't want to go to war with Iran. But they say if they're forced to do so, they will. The United States is sending missile defense technology to bolster its strength in the region. They've sent two big, giant aircraft carrier battle groups into the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean. But the US is doing a whole lot more, except that it isn't really black and white. It's actually complicated because the United States isn't only doing this for Israel because American support for Israel is hardwired into bipartisan American politics. In fact, the United States is doing this much more for itself. Take a look at this report. Strikes to punish provocations by the Hezbollah, the Iran-backed group, that has carefully scaled up hostilities, opening up a war front on Israel's northern border. Just days ago, a U.S. warship's air defense system intercepted a battery of cruise missiles launched by Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, south of Israel. What's clear is that in under 20 days, the Israel-Hamas war has exploded into a full West Asian crisis that could spiral into a global conflict. The United States of America, which has already deployed two giant aircraft carrier battle groups to the Mediterranean and Persian Gulf, has also decided to bolster advanced missile defense capabilities on the region. In its latest move, the Biden administration has decided to deploy additional terminal high-altitude air defense and Patriot anti-missile systems in the general area of Israel as a shield against an increasingly belligerent Iran. The rushing up of tensions means Iran is on notice, with relations back to square one just weeks after the Biden administration had arrived at an elusive breakthrough with Iran, even unblocking billions in aid.
Israel, which has rejected concerns of an expanding conflict, has said it will do what it must to defend itself. <laughs> and went to the massacre of 7th October. Could the world be staring at a new mini world war? With Shivaroor in Israel, Bureau Report, India Today.